good morning everyone uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, manet routing protocol uh, in the category of uh, proactive uh, routing protocol so specifically we are going to discuss about uh, destination sequenced uh, distance vector routing shortly we are representing dsdv so myself uh, dr arun professor in ec department so today we are going to discuss about uh, dsdv routing protocol proactive a destination sequence a distance vector routing protocol each mobile node keeps a routing table based on this particular algorithm so this is also called as a table driven routing protocol because each and every node maintaining a routing table to transmit a packet from one node to another node each of the routing table contains the list of all available destinations and the number of ops so how many number of uh, suppose uh, uh, five nodes are available means the table contains uh, the four uh, other destination nodes with the number of ops each table entry is tagged with the sequence number so which is uh, originated by the destination node so this uh, this is used to identify the corresponding freshness of the routing a uh, uh, table so the periodic uh, transmissions of uh, updates of routing tables help maintain the topology information of the ne network so now you can see in this particular table the routing table consists of, this is the routing table the routing table consists of uh, a destination address next hop metric and sequence number so here uh, there is any significant changes for the routing information the updates are transmitted immediately to the ne nearby nodes so the routing information updates might either be periodic or event driven so periodically it will update so if the mobility is very less so there is no mobility in the mobile ad hoc network in that situation it will update periodically if uh, any one node or one or two nodes are moving uh, from one point to another point only that particular routing information only updated that is called event uh, driven routing updation so dsdv requires each mobile node in the network to advertise its own routing table to its current neighbors so whenever the updation is there for one particular node that routing information will be transferred to the nearby nodes the advertisement is done either by broadcasting or by multicasting the routing table will may be broadcasting or a multicasting mode it will update the nearby node information so here uh, the routing update can be two ways the, this particular routing table will be updated in the two ways one is full dump another one is incremental update full du full dump means the entire routing table is sent to the nearby node incremental update means only the entries that required to changes are sent so only one node information is updated means that information routing information only transmitted to the nearby node that is called incremental update full dump means the entire table will transmit so the full dump will be happen uh, only if the mobility is more more number of node is uh, um, uh, moving from one point to another point in that particular situation we are using full dump the incremental update obviously if one or two nodes only moving within the network in that situation we are using the incremental update so when the movements of the node become very frequent the size of the incremental update become larger in that situation we are using full dump so the sequence number is used to denote that an update is new or old so whenever we are uh, receiving uh, any packet in that particular packet the sequence number mentioning the corresponding latestly updated or old one that will be differentiated by using the sequence number so you can see the table here the sequence number for b is 100 if we are receiving a packet or updation if this sequence number is more than 100 101 or 102 in that particular situation we have to update this routing table otherwise just ignore that pep, uh, corresponding pack. each node wait for certain interval to transmit the advertisement message to the neighbors so that the latest information with better route to 
your destination can be informed to the neighbor so here uh, now we are going to start the algorithm how the entire uh, dsdb algorithm is working in mobile ad hoc network in this mobile ad hoc network uh, consist of uh, four nodes a b c and d the four nodes are available uh, the starting assumption for the dsdb vector routing is each node knows the hop count or cost of the each link so knows only for nearby nodes for example if you are considering a node in that particular situation the nearby nodes are b and c so a can recognize within one hop i can reach b and c but a is not aware of d in that particular situation the table is initialized as b equal to one hop and c equal to one hop d equal to infinity similar manner for b node also the corresponding uh, routing table is initialized the, the for b the nearby node is only a so a is initialized with equal to 1 within one hop a b can reach a so in similar manner d and c not aware about uh, b that's why it is assigned as infinity similar manner for c the c node the nearby nodes are a and d so in that a and d a is reachable within one hop that's why a equal to 1 d is reachable within one hop so then d equal to 1 so b not aware any routing so b is assigned as infinity next node is d node in the d node the nearby node is only c so the remaining all other are a and b are infinitive and c only assigned as 1 after initializing we have to update the entire routing table with some hop count we have to replace this all infinity values by sharing the routing table to the nearby nodes so that is the procedure we are going to follow now the corresponding a node sends the corresponding routing information to b and c nearby nodes so this table received from a so b equal to 1 c equal to 1 and d equal to infinity so now the a information is already already available the d is infinity here also infinity the c is infinity here c equal to 1 so then the b will recognize via a i can reach c to reach a one hop count is required from a to c another one hop is required then totally the hop count is two hops then the corresponding uh, c will be updated as two so now you can see the updated table a equal to one d is infinity c equal to two similar manner for c node also this is the existing table this is the received table the final one is the updated table now a already we are having the value within one hop i can reach a the b is infinity but in the received table mentioned as the a can reach within one hop means then c can also reach via a with two hop count so then immediately the b is updated as two so now the d equal to 1 this is already available in the table this says then this third table representing the updated information so similar manner we are going to follow the procedure for the entire uh, network now you can see the c node in this particular c node the copy of the information or a routing table transferred to a and d so the copy of the information or routing table transferred here you can see uh, the c routing information a equal to 1 b equal to 2 and d equal to 1 but here the initial initialized table of a is d is having infinity but here d is having some value equal to 1 so then b will recognize that d is reachable via c with additional one hop count so then d will be updated as 2 okay this is the updated table b equal to 1 c equal to 1 the d infinity will be replaced as 2 now similar manner here also 
the copy of the routing table is a equal to 1, b equal to 2, d equal to 1. a and b values are not available, but here the a and b values are available. Then d will recognize via c I can reach a with corresponding hop count of a equal to 2. So, one hop to reach C, another hop to reach A. So, A equal to 2. Similar manner for B. So, the corresponding D will recognize via C, I can reach B also. So, how many hop counts are required? 1, 2 and 3. So, then B will be updated as 3 and C value already available 1. So, now similar manner if any infinity values are available, now D is not updated still now remaining all other values are updated. Then again retransmitted the information of A to the nearby node A table is copied to or transmitted to B and also C. So, based on this particular information the D value also update. So, from A two hop count is re, uh, required to reach D, then B will recognize automatically via A we can reach D. So, then how many hop, count, hop counts are required from A two hop means from B it requires 3. So, then D will be updated as 3. So, then the entire updated tables are available now. Now, the entire network ready to transmit a packet from any node to any node. So, in this particular situation, whenever the packet is uh, identified in any node, it will start transmitting the information by using this corresponding routing table. So, here we are mentioned in the previous case, how many hop count is required to reach that particular node. The next information is next hop. So, you can see the three nodes are available A, B and C. The three nodes are available. A will reach C via B. A will reach C via B. So, the destination is C. Next hop is B. Number of hop count is 2. So, this is one hop. This is another hop. So, totally the corresponding C is the destination direction or next hop is B and 2 is the number of hop count. To reach B, so the destination is B, the next hop also B, the number of hop count is 1. Similar manner for I am considering the C node, destination is A means destination A, next hop is B, number of hop count required is 2. The next one is B, B node, to reach B, the next destination is B, next hop is B and the hop count is 1. So, like that the destination, next hop and uh, number of hop counts we are able to update. So, the next, uh, the infinity problem is uh, arising in this DSDV uh, routing protocol. What is that uh, infinity, uh, the count to infinity problem means? Whenever now, in this particular example, A, B, C nodes are available. Within this three nodes, suppose C node is disconnected. In that particular situation, what happens? The corresponding, uh, the connection between B and C disconnect. In this particular situation, the C value already assigned as infinity, now disconnected. So, because of this, what will happen? the A will transmit the routing table to B. So, once the A transmitted to B, in this particular situation, the B will recognize based on the table, I can reach C via A with a hop count of 2. Then, the B will update as C is equal to 3. To reach a C via A, already required 2, with additional 1 hop, I can reach C. Then it is a updating table. Then this table again transfer to A. Then again A will transfer B. Then B will transfer A. Then what will happen? This is called count of infinity problem. Finally, it will reach us to infinity. So, this problem is eliminated by using your DSDV routing protocol. To solve this particular problem, destination sequence number is added. So, 
so destination next hop distance sequence number and the cor corresponding uh, time stamping so in this the sequence number plays a vital role based on this particular information only hereafter the routing table will be updated the infinity problem will be eliminated by using sequence number if the sequence number is latest or incremental number then that will be considered to update the table if the sequence number is equal to the existing table number or less than that uh, existing table number the routing table will not be updated so the infinity problem will be eliminated in the dsdv routing pro protocol so here you can see the corresponding b the sequence number is 100 here also the b sequence number is 100 100 whenever the b will be transmitting a routing table with updated sequence number suppose one or two means that information considered for c and also a to update the table if the sequence number is equal to 100 or less than 100 that will not be considered for the updation of the routing table so the overall summary about dsdv routing protocol it is a proactive routing protocol each node maintain a routing table the sequence number is used to update the topology information or routing information updation can be done based on event driven or periodic so maybe the energy expensive due to high mobility of node so the mobility is more the corresponding the entire network keep on updating the routing table it will consume maximum energy delay can be minimized because the ready-made routing table available so that means all the nodes having the individual routing table once the packet is ready immediately we are going to transmit then the delay will be very less in dsdv routing protocol so thank you for watching this video okay we will meet again with uh, some other video thank you